a note on the producers. Um, the original comedy, the producers uh, by and with Mel Brooks, uh, was outstanding. is 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 a classic. It's uh, placed on the list of best uh, um, 100 comedies. The Afi list. Uh, uh, I've discovered recently a BBC list made with uh, by asking. Um, some 250 critics from maybe 80 countries uh, and um, I think it's there too that that was fabulous that's that's uh, masterpiece a classic um, however its success uh, has a downside <laughs> maybe uh, when something is so outstanding, mesmerizing, scintillating, and all that, resplendent, um, it, 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 it inspires people. But then some want to make it again. I was noting recently on The Naughty Professor, which has a follow-up with Eddie Murphy, and the one with Medi Eddie Murphy is not really uh, good, if you ask me. Uh, however, notwithstanding that, I didn't think the Nati Professor, the original, is so great. I, I remember I loved it as a teenager or child or so. But um, now, it's, it's not really in my book of, on my list of good films anyway so uh, this one still has the original the Mel Brooks uh, creation as a as an inspiration as a as a uh, as the original material and it's really the same story only the actors are different in some other things and the actors uh, make the difference um, I'm reading through uh, Who the Hell is in It by Peter Bogdanovich. Conversations and, and uh, memories and um, stories, anecdotes about the great actors of yesteryear. Uh, and one of them is Mel Brooks. Uh, I'm sorry, Mel Brooks is one of the great actors, but he's not there. He's, we're talking about him here. Orson Welles. Uh, when Orson Welles was of the opinion that the actors make or break a film, it's the actors. Even if it's a great direct director, if the actors uh, uh, deliver, have a great performance, uh, the film takes off. If not, it's a flop. Uh, he's right in a way, but then of course it, we can have great actors. We have. Al, Pac uh, Al Pacino too, but De Niro in so many films recently, and if it's something good, uh, he can still impress. I'm thinking recently, um, Silver Linings Playbook, where he was nominated for Academy Award. But when there's nothing, the, uh, the, uh, the intern, nothing comes out if there's no script, or just a pretense. So. Um, Matthew Broderick, I think, is good as Leo Bloom, but Max Bellis talk doesn't come out too good here. Uma Thurman, yes, tall, attractive, um, but um, an agey performance. I, I'm not keen on it. Will Ferrell, yes, that's that's like a little guy. Franz Liebkin, um, yes, he's doing well. But not enough, Broderick and Farrell, not enough to just make the film great or good, in in my view. Need uh, <laughs> Hitler never says baby. <laughs> um, did not do this or that. 1959, Broadway, the idea is uh, smart, clever, if crooked, um, illegal. They didn't go as far as uh, the Wizard of Lies, uh, Madoff, 
Bernie Madoff, but still. Um, they will put a show on and they get they try and get backup financing and they get much more than they need because they can offer 90% here I'm just giving from the top of my head 70% there on a few thousand percentages of course uh, to a play which they know will be a disaster because they pick the sky, this German guys, springtime, uh, Hitler in springtime, uh, springtime for Hitler and Germany, and they, they think this is preposterous, this, this, will, this will tank, this will be a bomb, uh, no question about it. So after the first night, everybody will see it's a disaster, nobody will ask, uh, what's my take, uh, give me my profit out of a, a disaster. All right. Uh, so they find this guy, they find a flamboyant you know, director, and they have all elements for for uh, catastrophe. And yet, there's a surprise.